Hi, this is Frank with SmokerBuilder.com, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you today about uh, what's called the uh, FSP uh, 120 GF hinge. Um, anyway, what's unique about this hinge is that it's a weld-on style hinge, and you can see there's like a, uh, a pointed, like an arrow hanging off of one side, and that's to help you align this hinge when you're welding it on the cook chamber and all, or whatever door you're welding it on, and also to give you a good flat surface to weld to. Um, this this hinge has a, a grease fitting on the end of it. <clears throat> it's got a brass bushing in between the two parts. And uh, when you slide it apart, do this real quick. There's a uh, there's a pin and a socket on these two parts. They fall apart in the in, once you're during shipping or whatever. Sometimes we try not to let that happen. But um, anyway, all you do is you just slide those two pieces back together. I've already got one tacked on this door in particular that I'm doing. This is a grill, and I made this door uh, out of 10 gauge. And you can see here, once you're sighting down the, if I can get a good shot at that, once you're sighting down the length of the cook chamber, you look at the joint, you can look and see what if that's straight or not. Probably hard to tell on the camera. And you can kind of see how this front flange, I've got it almost totally vertical, coming straight up. And then uh, on the back side, I've done the same thing back here where it's coming straight up. What I do when I'm lining these up is I'll hold on to this part of the hinge and I'll have a mark where I want that, the grease fitting side. Once I put that grease fitting on that end, that also helps me get it adjusted left to right where I want it. Then I just hold this part up and you'll see there's a gap under this other part and that's to allow clearance for, I don't know if you can see that gap there. Uh, that's to allow clearance for whenever you swing the door open that the door doesn't scrape all your paint off or uh, just make big scrape marks in the metal on the hinge and bind and stuff so this also helps you find a good height adjustment um, this is this is our most popular hinge we've got it also in another size it's a this is a four inch we've also got it in a three inch long hinge um, anyway that mark also helps me tell that where that tack weld is on the inside that helps me tell where the uh, where to stop my weld bead when, or start it whichever direction I'm going so I don't weld across here by accident and then the hinge is no good um, so anyway there's one that I've already got tacked in place uh, and then the next thing I would do here is I'd put a tack right here and the same thing on the other side I'd put a tack right there on the corresponding side and then I would just run that bead right down there until I saw that my wire was getting up on that roll, that little tack, and then I would stop, and then I'd go to the other side and do the other one. Um, whenever you're uh, setting the next hinge in line, a helpful tool is a four-foot level or some kind of a long straight edge to get your hint to get your hinges lined up long ways on that cook chamber door. Anyway, uh, check out these hinges. Let me know if you like them. I use the heck out of them, and uh, good luck with your pit.